Hi guys, we are here with another My Year 2017 uh, Facebook group video for July. And this month we are celebrating our loved ones and I think I have a really interesting, neat idea for you. So let me put the journal aside and get a few things together and I'll be right back. You guys, I have this very special little pile of papers and this is just a fraction of what I have to be honest with you. Not that I'm bragging or anything, because um, I'm not. I have a lot of stuff. When my grandmother passed about three, four years ago, I um, and my aunts went through her things. I helped them go through her things. And there were a lot of bits and pieces that normally would have probably gone in the trash that you just accumulate over your life. And she was 99 years old, so she had a lot of them. And, you know, little bits and pieces that are special to you while you're alive, but then you pass away and your family's like, they, what is this? They don't know what it is. And I, being who I am, uh, I love all those little bits of paper and bits of life. So I saved quite a few of them. These are a few samples I'll share with you. This is a sample of a postcard that has um, the Virgin Mary on the front. And um, it has um, an address on the back. It's from 1917, it looks like. No, actually, I'll take that back because it's written from Europe. So it's from 1920 because it says 2917, or at least that looks like what it says. And um, it's to written to Signor Alberto Bronzini, who is my, I think, great-great-grandfather. I don't know, but it's just a fraction of a postcard that, you know, again, a lot of people would have probably thrown away, but I was like, uh, can I have that? And then we found a number of these interesting, these must have been part of an old game. If somebody out there knows, just for curiosity's sake, I sure would like to know. But we found a number of these little cards. And on them, like this one says, Mr. I.B. Dam, barkeeper, let me tend bar for you. I guarantee, keep, guarantee to keep your bottles empty. I've been before and behind the bar for over 20 years. I served 10 years behind bars. And it just goes on. And each one, they're pretty funny. Each one is different. This is Miss Rose Nail Tips, a manicurist. <laughs> this one is I Cheat and You Graft Politicians. <laughs> so, this one is Mr. Sticker Tight Glue Salesman. And I have a stack of them. I don't know where they came from. If you know, let me know. I have no idea, but they're pretty funny. Um, this is, I don't know what this is because honestly, it's in Italian. Oh, no, I'll take that back. It's in English. The front part of it's in script. Mr. Renato Brondini, who was my grandfather, was admitted into the Apostleship of Prayer on the 21st day of June, 1942. It says something else at the bottom. I don't know. Um, but it's just a little flyer with, you know, Jesus on the front and old script. My grandmother was very Catholic, by the way. Um, this one says, Mr. Bill Dew, collector. <laughs> I have a lot of these little cards. They're funny. Um, she did so, and so this was in her stash of things. Um, and there's a number of things like that. I have buttons, sheets of buttons. and This was one of her many address books. I don't know why she had so many of them. Um, and it has some examples of her writing in it. Um, and I have a number of notebooks and day books that are all like old and vintage like this that have her writing in it or my grandfather's writing, which is more important to me because he died when I was about six or seven. Um, so I took a bunch of these things and I scanned them on my scanner and created some interesting, unique vintage papers because sometimes we have these things and while we may want to use them on a project, we're not quite ready yet. Maybe you don't want to use them on a project, you just want to save them, all right? Take them and scan them or photograph them and then copy them, 
print them on your printer or if you don't have the ability to scan them or photocopy them take them and lay them face down on a color copier at the office supply store arrange them on the top of the color copier and then make some color copies then you can print them on standard paper which are these or you can print them on sticker sheets which we talked about last month and instead of doing them with artwork you've done them with these cute vintage papers and these are square stickers so I can just take that little square to decorate a page in this month's journal um, I did squares I'll take white squares and then I did do some let's see here these are on clear transparent rectangles the only thing is finding the edge of where the sticker starts sometimes is a little bit of a challenge and I don't have my glasses on there we go so these are transparent so you'll get the hint of some of the original papers um, and then whatever is behind it's going to show through and if you put it out of course on white paper then you're going to see it pretty clearly so I think this is a great idea to celebrate our loved ones preserve their memory and use it in our art take some of their special things whether they're um, it could be a grocery list one of these things on here is um, I don't know what it is because it's in Italian um, there in the background you have a Christmas card list where she's checked people off and one of them has this one here that you can see part of it is a list of plants that evidently she wanted to buy at the hardware store my grandmother saved everything she didn't throw anything away so it could just be a grocery list it could be the inside of a book cover where she said um, you know um, to Gina from Grandma Jenny um, it could be anything um, that has their writing on it that's unique to them of course it could be their picture you could scan their pictures and reuse their pictures but think about making copies of those special papers to use in your work I think your loved ones who are no longer with us especially would really like that now if you have little kids and they've done artwork for you over the years and maybe they're grown up like mine is <laughs> she's done a few things I'm really considering scanning some of her pieces and turning them into papers and stickers that I can use in my journal. Now, I don't know that any of these things are copyright free. So this is strictly to be done for your own purposes and not for resale. And, <clears throat> you know, you can, you know, gift it to friends or something, but you can't sell it and make money on it. Not unless you're absolutely positive that you have the rights and permission to do that. I, that being said, these three papers are going to be available for download in the Facebook group. So if you want to get these three papers to use in your art, you have to be a member of the group. I'm going to put it in a, um, a file that's titled Gina's Doodle Downloads, and I'm gonna actually retitle it to be Gina's Doodles and Downloads. So it'll be over there, and you'll be able to click on the link and download these to use in your art artwork I think my grandmother really really appreciate that and I do I was pretty sure that everything's like out of copyright um, and I'm also not selling them so it's not really a big deal um, if you have people who are living and you're using their pictures in your art and or you're wanting to sell it make sure you get their prescription your their prescription their permission in writing I have glue all over my table all right so that's it for today I hope you gave you some ideas of how you can celebrate your loved ones this month in your artwork and in your journaling reproduce some of those things that they've given you and have fun with them and celebrate them in your work all right that's it for right now please check out my descript video description if you're here on YouTube for the two Facebook groups, my regular group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, and the one where these are going to be, which is my year 2017. Check out the video uh, description for the links to those two groups. I also will have um, the links to my Happy Mail address. If you want to support my channel, my Etsy shop address is there. You can go shopping over there, or if you would like to, there's a tip jar link. All of that's in the description, so check it out. The most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.